Hi, I'm Bob, product manager for Brother QL Label Printers. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to utilize our escape key commands and ptouch templates. So first off, uh, with the, to download these manuals, you can go to support.brother.com, uh, pick on the Brother QL 720NW printer, which supports both the escape key commands and ptouch template. And in there, we can pick the uh, download manuals. And then you'll see under other, there is an escape P command reference and a P touch template manual reference. The next part that we're going to look at is the uh, more detailed escape P command. So in this case, we're not utilizing a, a template to decide how to put information onto the label. We're actually going to use the core escape P commands to build a label from scratch. So in this particular case, we're going to go through creating this sample label over here and showing you exactly the code commands that requires it to do that. So the first part is really basically to set up the escape P command and tell it to use escape P. So in here we have the uh, commands of what mode to use and we set it to 00, zero to target to use escape P. Then we set the initialize command and then now we're going to set up that we wanted to print the label out in landscape mode. So this is the commands that we uh, set here to put it into landscape mode. The next part, we're going to set the margin, the minimum margin from the top of the label here to two millimeters so that we have the maximum amount of space to utilize in the label width. And the next part that we're going to do is set the line, speed, line feed in between, so the spacing between the words or barcodes between each line. And we're going to set that to 15 dots. The way this works is basically 300, the printer is 300 dots per inch. So if you divide that uh, by um, whatever amount of dots you put, that's how many um, inches it would be. Then we're going to pick the overall font that we want the text to be in. So in this particular case, there are preloaded a uh, certain amount of fonts into the machine that you can pick from. You can see that in the actual uh, manual for escape P commands. In this uh, reference guide that we have here that you can download. And then the next part we pick the font size. So this is based on the dot size of the, the font. And we're going to set this to 58 dots and that's uh, right there. And then we're going to type the information. So we're gonna type model name and provide that there, a few spaces there. And in this particular case, we're adding two line feeds to get a bigger space between the barcode. The next part now, we're going to actually do this three of nine barcode. So in here, we actually put the barcode command to set it to three of nine is the 7430. The next part is we want the characters to actually show below. So that is uh, the 7231. The next part is we want the parentheses ease off, which is 6530. And then we're going to set the barcode height. In this particular case, we want it to 160 dots. So this is approximately a little bigger than a half an inch on how big the barcode is. Next, we're gonna set the uh, width of the barcode, so how much space it actually takes up this way, and in this particular case, since we have a very large barcode, we wanna make it extra small. So we set that to 34, and then we're gonna set the ratio of the large bars to the small bars, uh, two to one. And then we're gonna start the barcode data next and then we can provide it its user information of what 
barcode information we want the barcode to be. And lastly, we finish that up with the 5C is the tell it that it's the end of the barcode. Then the next part, uh, we give it two line feeds, so this will give it 30 dot spacing between the barcode and the return. We now print the text, keep the font exactly the same as it was. We do two more spacings, and now we're going to add another second 3 of 9 barcode to this for the return number. And basically it's the same information, characters below, the parentheses, uh, the barcode height is still 160, extra, extra small for the width, the ratio is 2 to 1, and we start the barcode and then we give it the information. And then lastly, we're going to put the SKU number for the text, as showing here. And then we're going to have three line feeds, so to give it 45 dots between that. And then lastly, to get the last text where we actually uh, are moving it over to center it over a certain amount, we have the type of return and we're actually underlining it in this particular case. So in here we have to change some parts of the font here. So we're setting the font size to now be bigger, so 83 dots instead of the 58 that we had set above. And then we're going to apply the underlining here, so this is the command 1B 2D 03, it says to underline with three dots. So the underline, it can, you can set the, the amount of dots that you want the underline to be. And then lastly, we're going to move the position of the printing horizontally over by 150 dots. So if we look at that, I'll move it over about a half an inch. And then we will start printing the text type of return. And then lastly, we'll issue the 0C, which is the actual print command for the escape P commands. So you can see all of the uh, commands that go into actually building this are over here on this side here. And once this actually, all of these commands actually get sent to the printer, the printer will actually print out the label like we see here in this picture. So now we'll go ahead and I'll actually send that uh, information to the printer as we already have this bin file which has contains all that information and I have this little uh, batch file here which runs that and uses our spooler to send it and now we uh, get our label printed out exactly the same as what we have in the Excel file that describes this. as we have there. So that is how you can utilize the escape P commands to send information down to the, down to the QL720NW and be able to print labels um, basically from any application. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you need any support or the sample applications, please email the link below. Thank you for watching.